I'm from Turkey. I came to New York 2000. I'm, I'm living here 13 years. And together with a group of people, we start to organize the Occupy Gezi NYC. And we met here at Zuccotti Park last Saturday with thousands of people from all over the world. And we are sending a strong message to people of Turkey and to the government of Turkey. But we are saying we want democracy, we want freedom, we, we want freedom of speech, we want our civil liberties. And uh, we have an extremely diverse group, a uh, group that uh, come from, uh, uh, from Turks, uh, Kurds, Americans, Armenians, Arabs. Uh, together we stand against repression in Turkey. Last week, when there was millions of people were on the streets protesting, Turkish media was not covering the event. For instance, CNN Turk, while there were strong protesters protesting the government and there, there was a fight on the street, Tur CNN Turk was showing a penguin documentary. This is unbelievable. While BBC, CNN, Russian TVs, German TVs are covering the event, Turkish media was mute. Together with people, thousands of hundreds of thousands of people we gathered organized ourselves on social media we informed each other and the next day uh, we had uh, hundreds of protests around the world and then we, what we are doing here is to just to support our brothers and sisters uh, two days ago there were 23 uh, twitter uh, uh, arrests and today they uh, arrested more people uh, uh, Twitter people, like they are not even bloggers, they just because of their tweets. So it shows that Turkey do not have freedom of expression. So American people should, has to understand that Turkey is a NATO ally, Turkey is a USA's ally, and USA has to support freedom and democracy. And we want and we demand from the uh, uh, American government to support people of Turkey, not the government. I am an artist, and I think it's extremely important to, as an artist to, uh, to stand by the people of Turkey for freedom of speech. And I feel that this is our duty as an artist to stand against any kind of tyranny, not just Turkish tyranny, but the U.S. tyranny in Iran, in Syria, in Egypt, in Europe. We should, be, we should stand next to each other. And today, one of the most wonderful things happened which is the Greek solidarity came from left forum in full force and they carried Turkish flag and Greek flag next to each other. This is a, this is a first. I mean, people in, the, in around the world are uniting against tyranny, against dictatorship, against autocracy, which is wonderful, which is very charging and emotional. The official press wasn't covering these, so we had to use social media to get these pictures. They were all taken in Istanbul during the demonstrations. They were they started as peaceful demonstrations. She was a uh, Egyptian tourist, and she was the first person to be shot at Gezi Park. And she was beaten and tortured by the police. She's from Mersin, I think. Again, in Istanbul, she was beaten by the police. Istanbul. He was killed. Pepper gas uh, bomb exploded near his chin. Tear gas? Tear, yeah. uh, no, no, sorry, pepper gas bomb. Oh. Yeah, tear gas. Exploded near, near his uh, cheek. Resulted in an injury. Then again in Istanbul. Near, near Gezi Park, police beating a half-naked man. Is that an Istiklal? Near Istiklal. Yeah. Uh, three cops are just attacking this defenseless person. Here's the Omalachia Mosque in Istanbul. The cops even uh, shot him in a mosque. He was killed by the police. Uh, which he one? was killed in Antakya. Antakya. Yeah. Yeah, in the southern part of Turkey, Mediterranean coastal part of Turkey. We are not sure which city this is. Uh, Beşiktaş. 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 This is in Beşiktaş, Istanbul. Istanbul. He was a worker 
in Ankara. Municipal uh, municipality worker in Ankara, and the pepper gas spray exploded his eye and, and destroyed his right eye. He lost his right eye, his vision on the right eye. So you use social media to get these photos? Yes. yes. We use social media to get this picture. When did you come here? Um, two years ago. Right. Where do you live? Uh, I'm living in Queens. I am part of LGBT. And that's why you came here? Yes. <laughs>